Hi, Aaron Sylvan here, and today we're going to talk about stabilizing images in 360 video. I'm using Autopano Video Pro, and for this example, I used a pair of hemispheric cameras, the Kodak SP360 4K, but the stabilizer works the same way regardless of your rig. It's the same for six GoPros, 10 GoPros, 14 Reds. So let's take a look at how this works inside the software. I created a sample video of myself walking through City Hall Park in New York and on purpose I moved the camera quite a bit so that we really give, a, give the stabilizer a workout and see how it can handle some tough situations. Okay, to begin, let's see what we're working with. Here's the video, as promised, super bouncy and now we'll discover what the stabilizer can do to fix it. Okay, click here to go to the stabilizer panel. You'll see there is a control for how much stabilization you want uh, and there's also a button for calculating the motion. The first step is to calculate the motion and uh, this will take a few minutes. Once it's done you can change the compensation level without recalculating. So step one is to click here. And a progress bar will appear at the bottom telling you how fast your clip is processing. In our case, we'll need about three minutes for this to complete. Okay, all done. You'll see there's some new data on the screen now. This horizon bar is showing what was the deviation at any particular point that the motion stabilizer had to correct. Let's now see what this video looks like. One thing you'll notice in the preview is that the horizon is no longer flat. Let's adjust the horizon in this preview window to be where we want it. Okay, this looks pretty flat and it looks like we're facing forward, which means that I'm, uh, I'm over here, the back of the camera, and this is the front. I'm going to click apply, expand this preview. And now we'll see for the first time what this looks like with 100% image stabilizer. Much, much smoother than before. At this point you see I'm coming up on a fountain and watch what the stabilizer has done. This building is the New York Municipal Building in the background and I'm walking around the fountain but the stabilizer has so completely stabilized this image that you don't actually see the view around the fountain. What's happening is the municipal hall is staying in the same place entirely and I am moving. Uh, so this 100% stabilization, while it made the image very smooth, you can see that um, it didn't exactly give that first person point of view tour that we might have been hoping for. I'm going to pause this, put it back, and let's try again what happens with a compensation level of 50%. Here it says fast motions only. I see that in our preview we've got to fix the horizon again so let's do that. Done. Open the preview. Now we're going to approach the fountain again with the 50% stabilization. You'll notice that most of the bobbing up and down from my walking has been cleared up. But when we reach the fountain, um, the stabilizer is not going to keep us, keep us locked on the municipal building. Municipal building is this. Um, this time we are actually going to get the first person point of view walking around the fountain. You'll see that I stay in the rear over here and you see the camera is actually walking all the way around the fountain. The municipal building is now over there and here I'm passing through the people, through the crowd. So this 50% is probably a lot closer to what we were looking for. I'm going to close that. Something else valuable to notice is that we did not have to recalculate the motion when we adjusted the compensation level. So this is an adjustment that you can make and um, uh, experiment a little bit using the preview. And then when you render this video, you'll have the result that you want. There's another example I'd like to show you for reference that's pretty important. It's indoors. 
Shooting indoors, I've had people ask me, does the stabilizer create blurring in the picture? And the answer is no, the stabilizer does not create blurring, but you might see a blurring effect. And what's happening is that if you shake a camera with a slow shutter speed, each image will be blurred, right? Now, if the camera is moving through the space, you might not notice that blurring because it matches the changes in point of view. However, if the stabilizer corrects the points of view, um, it can call your attention to the blurring in a way that's unpleasant. If this happens to you, it doesn't mean you set the stabilizer incorrectly, and it doesn't mean the stabilizer's buggy. What it means is you need more light in the camera. It means you need a faster shutter speed, and if you're using an automatic camera like this, or GoPros, or any of the action cams, you probably can't manually adjust the shutter speed. So that means add more light if your stabilizer is not working well. That's why that first example I did, the outdoor one at City Hall, looked so much sharper. Okay, I hope this was useful. If there's anything else I can help you with, feel free to look me up.